flying the friendly skies with flight attendants. If you're planning to travel long distances, flying is the quickest way to reach your destination. The airplane has made it possible to leave our homelands and explore the farthest reaches of the globe. Yet soaring through the skies wouldn't be so pleasant if it weren't for the assistance of some caring airline employees, flight attendants. The vocation of flight attendant was created shortly after commercial air travel began. Airlines realized that people who journeyed by plane needed lots of care and attention to make them feel comfortable in such cramped conditions. In 1912. Heinrich Kubis became the world's first flight attendant, attending to passengers' needs on several German Zeppelins. In the 1920s, British and American airlines followed suit and started hiring cabin boys to wait on their passengers. Oddly enough, there weren't any female flight attendants when the 1930s began. However, by the end of the decade. Female flight attendants had almost entirely replaced male attendants. In modern times, the competition to land a job as a flight attendant is tough. While having a background in the service industry can help, it's not a requirement. Speaking multiple languages can give you an advantage. Once a candidate is selected, they will receive specialized training for up to six months. During this time, they will learn the ins and outs of airline hospitality. In addition, they must learn first aid, emergency landing procedures, and the proper way to evacuate passengers during a crisis situation. If new hires can fulfill these training requirements, they'll become full-fledged cabin crew and get the opportunity to assist travelers as they fly in the friendly skies.